Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Pastor Steve here walking th uh, with you uh, through the armor of God. We are opening up that uh, first uh, day of the week um, as we go forward, uh, first video of the week into the armor of God. So Ephesians chapter 6, we'll keep replicating that um, as we walk in the, in the weeks. And we've walked through two weeks so far, two pieces of the armor. Um, and let's uh, repeat those real quickly while you're opening up the Ephesians chapter 6. And we get to see we have the... Uh, belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness the belt of truth being able to gird all the things underneath that's important for our piece of the armor uh, as we go forth to uh, this this week and the belt of truth being able to say it it held the weight of the breastplate it held up the tunic so you wouldn't trip over it um it it, it had uh, a little places for the dagger and the sword um it actually even had a little notch for the shield um and so it, it it bore the weight um, of everything core of the armor. And so belt of truth. And we uh, just wanted to reply that uh, Jesus is the truth. And then we have the breastplate of righteousness. The breastplate guarded and protected the core, um, the core organs, uh, but really your being. And so if truth is holding up and, and bearing the weight, is bearing the weight of righteousness, not our righteousness, but God's righteousness, right with God. And so within the righteousness, we get to see that the truth is Jesus is our righteousness. He makes us right with God and he makes our being, he protects and guards our being uh, from the evil ones and his schemes. Uh, he protects us uh, from being able to actually uh, just be for ourselves showy rather than what it is being able to showcase the glory of God. And so the breastplate of righteousness leads us into, uh, as it says here, your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. So feet fitted with the readiness. We're going to uh, uncover what the soldier's footwear was. Um, but this is really particular. This isn't necessarily um, a defense. Well, we got the belt of truth that holds everything in place. But all of a sudden we got defensive uh, when we got the breastplate of righteousness could uh, bounce off the weapons and the evil schemes. But here we go, a feet fitted with the readiness, with the gospel of peace, a readiness. So we're going to tear that apart this week. Readiness, gospel, peace. Readiness, gospel, peace. Shoes, sandals. Uh, we're going to get through that. But let's read together Ephesians chapter 6 just to get our whole context, our whole big picture uh, together again. It says this in verse 10. Now, remember uh, that the, that Paul was writing to the Ephesians, the, the church in Ephesus, under persecution, uh, really being able to put forward, uh, put forth what your relationships look like with children and parents, slaves and owners, wife and husband, uh, people of the church, right? Out of reverence for Christ, submit to one another. Um, here we go, and it says, finally, finally, in these relationships, in this church, as you're walking together, there's going to be a reality that there's opposition. Uh, to that. So finally, verse 10, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. I just want to keep emphasizing that. I think I do that every week, probably will do it every week. <laughs> um, be strong it, it, or uh, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. How are you strong in his mighty power? Well, that's what we're talking about. We un unscathe the, the uh, clothing, the armor, of the warrior and the warrior has everything to do with God's provision be strong in his mighty power you can do all you can to be able to bring about power and strength on your own but Paul is saying great relationships great being a part of the church amazing uh, being a part of the community all those kind of different things but finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. As you get to see your relationships, your relationships aren't the ones that are going to extinguish the, the flaming arrows of the evil. Uh, your relationships aren't the ones uh, that are going to bring about uh, the salvation that the Lord has in store. No, only look to the Lord, his mighty power. Put on, verse 11, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. You can, you're able to. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. I want to uncover that real quickly today because we didn't do that in these last couple of weeks of being able to say, well, what does it mean against uh, rulers and authorities, against the powers of this dark world? 
throughout the scriptures, it talks about the deceiving nature of the evil one, the deceiving nature of Satan, being able to get into leadership, leadership of governance, governments, uh, leadership of organizations, leadership uh, in those. If you can get it from the top, then it just kind of trickles down. And so he goes and deceives. And you can see this very apparent within the church, even a church leader. Let's say a pastor falls in sin. It has ramifications. But the reality to that is uh, the rulers against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, there's opposition. There, <clears throat> there's deceiving. He goes after these leaders. And these leaders are human. They fall. But the reality to that is his mighty power, putting on the armor of God. We know the reality uh, of leaders being able to go astray. We know the reality of the ramifications of that. But let us continue to get ministered to by God and by Paul here of being able to say, again, rulers, authorities, and there is deception from the evil one. But there is a battle against that. Because as we go forth here, there's going to be a truth that is talked about with forgiveness. There is going to be a righteousness that didn't come from our actions, but came from God's mighty power. There is a gospel that doesn't matter what happens in this world. The gospel, the good news, isn't changed. It doesn't lose its effectiveness. Gospel goes forth with the feet fitted with the readiness of the gospel of peace. So the reality towards leaders falling or rulers being deceived <clears throat> and authorities being able to bring the things not of, not, of God, not of God, we can get fixed on those things or our eyes can stay on the mighty power of the Lord, the full armor of God that actually opposes and trumps, no pun intended, sorry, uh, but being able to say and goes over the reality of the opposition. We want read for verse 13. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you've done everything to stand, Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming airs of the evil, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying. For all the saints. This week we're going to really dive into the detail of having feet fitted with the readiness of the gospel of peace. But the full armor isn't just putting on the belt or having the breastplate of righteousness in place or taking up the shield of faith, one or the other. The full armor of God is the whole armor. Take on the armor of God. It doesn't say a piece of the armor, but the armor of God. And so as we're detailing these, we want that big picture. That God has fit us with the belt of truth that Jesus loves us. He forgives us. That he puts in place the righteousness. That we are right with God and so we walk in that faith. That he actually fits our feet. That we should be on the move with the gospel of peace. That he gives us that shield of faith. That we walk by faith and it extinguishes and it, and it protects and it, it, it guards against the flaming arrows of the evil one. We get to see that we have a helmet, that we are saved by Jesus Christ alone. And so within that armor, it's all enveloped with what at the end there? Prayer. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, we walk in this world in sin and chaos and rulers and authorities and leaders and deception by the evil one. Temptations by the evil one, but help us fix our eyes on the mighty power that is ours by the Holy Spirit, that we have the power of God residing inside of us. And so we can look at sin and say, you have no power over me. And we can look at the cross and we can look at the empty tomb and say, that's my life. I am a disciple of Christ. And so strengthen us, invigorate our faith, continue to raise us up to be people looking towards Jesus, acting like Jesus, and being able to impact the people around us like Jesus did. Make us faithful, strengthen our faith, 
to walk according to your will, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day putting on the full armor of God.